Knoxville College is a historically black college located in Knoxville, Tennessee, formerly the only place in East Tennessee where African Americans could get college degrees Knoxville College was founded in 1875 as a church-affiliated institution. Knoxville College's name, presence, and buildings have a rich history, deep appreciation from its alumni, and a strong legacy. Over the years, however, Knoxville College has faced enormous challenges, including hazardous materials being found on campus, fires, declining enrollment numbers, the loss of accreditation, and temporary closure. If you visited Knoxville College in 2021, you might not realize what was there. You'd see boarded up buildings and bleak signage, but it wasn't always like that. In 1978, the Aurora published a piece by a student who went by the name Telefero wherein the student talked about poor campus conditions and the lifelessness of campus and speculated about the college closing. Telefero stated, Think of all the scholars and athletes who will have an opportunity to attend KC. Dream with the founders of visions of a bright tomorrow. Now look at a tomorrow when KC will be closed and be nothing but a memory. Never, one may say, but this could become reality unless we act now as time is running out. In 2015, classes at Knoxville College were suspended. Over the last few years, Knoxville College has had a comeback. In 2018, they reopened and only offered online classes. In 2019, they were able to have a graduation ceremony, albeit there was only one graduate. Dr. Keith Lindsay, the former interim president of Knoxville College, actually has a YouTube channel where he has given updates about the college. The following videos that I'm about to mention are from 2020 in the midst of the COVID-19 pandemic. In the videos, he talks about Knoxville College having one graduate in spring 2020, but having to postpone graduation. In fall 2018, they had seven students. In the fall of 2020, they had 32, which is a 400% increase. He has a goal of having Knoxville College be debt free, and he hopes to offer four year degrees again, and he believes that it could help increase retention. He also mentions that two Knoxville College students received a scholarship from the Maya Angelou Foundation. Knoxville College is talking with the Department of Labor, the American Association of University Women, and local Black-owned businesses for Knoxville College merchandise. He also mentioned that the Memorial Gymnasium and faculty apartments have been cleaned out. Over 100 years after the beginning of the influenza pandemic, Knoxville College is helping out in a different pandemic. As part of the CARES Act for the COVID-19 pandemic, the United Way gave Knoxville College money to put on pandemic relief seminars. The implications of Knoxville College opening back up are complicated in nature. While it would be nice for there to be another HBCU in Tennessee, there are environmental concerns. As I mentioned earlier, there were hazardous materials found on Knoxville College campus. Those included mercury and asbestos, and those certainly aren't good for you. Would Knoxville College opening back up just put those into people's lungs and have a negative impact? With that being said, enrollment numbers for HBCUs in general are going up, and one HBCU, Morse Brown College, recently regained their accreditation after not having it for almost 20 years. Perhaps something similar could happen with Knoxville College. After all, it was announced in February 2021 that the University of Tennessee would help Knoxville College get accredited again. It was announced recently that in May of 2021, Knoxville College will be having a virtual graduation ceremony. And in June, the Aurora will be having a comeback of its own. 